Top 10 Punisher Facts. How many do you know? Number 10. The Punisher made his first appearance in The Amazing Spider-Man issue 129, which was published by Marvel Comics in February 1974. He was created by writer Jerry Conway and artist John Romita Sr. and Ross Andrew. Initially introduced as an antagonist to Spider-Man, the Punisher evolved into an anti-hero with his own series and has become one of Marvel's most enduring and popular characters. Number 9. Frank Castle, also known as the Punisher, has a tragic and compelling origin story. A former Marine Corps veteran, Frank Castle served multiple tours of duty in Vietnam, where he honed his combat skills and gained a deep sense of duty and loyalty to his country. After returning to civilian life, Castle became a highly decorated and respected member of the New York City Police Department. However, tragedy struck when Castle's family was brutally murdered by the mob in a Central Park picnic. Devastated by the loss of his loved ones and disillusioned by the limitations of the justice system, Castle vowed to wage a one-man war on crime. He adopted the vigilante persona of the Punisher, using his military training and tactical expertise to mercilessly hunt down and eliminate criminals, especially those involved in organized crime. Driven by his thirst for vengeance and his uncompromising sense of justice, the Punisher operates outside the law, targeting those he deems responsible for the suffering of innocent people. His relentless pursuit of justice often puts him at odds with other superheroes and law enforcement agencies, who struggle to reconcile his extreme methods with their own moral codes. Frank Castle's origin story serves as the foundation for the Punisher's character, shaping his motivations, values, and unwavering dedication to his mission of fighting crime and seeking retribution for the innocent. Number 8. The Punisher is a highly skilled and deadly vigilante with a wide range of abilities honed through years of military training and combat experience. Some of his notable abilities include Expert Marksman Castle is an exceptional marksman with proficiency in various firearms, including pistols, rifles, shotguns, and automatic weapons. He rarely misses his targets and can accurately shoot from long distances or in close quarters combat. Martial Artist Trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques from his time in the Marine Corps and through further training, Castle is proficient in various martial arts styles, including boxing, judo, karate, and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. He can hold his own against multiple opponents in unarmed combat. Tactical Genius Castle possesses exceptional tactical skills, allowing him to analyze situations quickly, formulate effective strategies, and adapt to changing circumstances on the battlefield. He often utilizes guerrilla warfare tactics and ambushes to gain the upper hand against his enemies. Physical Conditioning As a former Marine and a vigilante constantly engaged in combat, Castle maintains peak physical condition through rigorous training and exercise. He possesses above-average strength, speed, agility, and endurance, enabling him to endure intense physical exertion and withstand injuries. Weapons Expertise In addition to firearms, Castle is proficient in the use of various weapons and equipment, including knives, explosives, and improvised weaponry. He can effectively utilize his surroundings to gain an advantage in combat situations. Pain Tolerance Castle has a high tolerance for pain, allowing him to continue fighting even when injured. He has endured significant physical trauma and injuries throughout his career as the Punisher demonstrating resilience and determination in the face of adversity. Overall, the Punisher's abilities make him a formidable and relentless combatant, capable of taking on even the most dangerous adversaries in his quest for justice. Number 7. The Punisher, Frank operates under a strict moral code where he primarily targets criminals, mobsters, and individuals he deems deserving of punishment for their crimes. Despite his brutal methods, Castle generally refrains from targeting soldiers, police officers, or other law enforcement personnel, as he respects their dedication to duty and adherence to the law. However, there have been instances in Punisher stories where he has clashed with law enforcement due to differences in methods or objectives. Castle's vigilantism often puts him at odds with the authorities, who view his actions as illegal and seek to apprehend him. Despite these conflicts, the Punisher typically avoids directly targeting law enforcement officers unless they pose a direct threat to him or others. Overall, while the Punisher is a ruthless anti-hero who dispenses his own brand of justice, he maintains certain ethical boundaries and principles in his pursuit of vengeance and retribution.
Number 6. In 1994, Marvel Comics published a one-shot comic titled, Archie Meets the Punisher. In this unusual crossover, the characters from Riverdale find themselves entangled in a crime-fighting adventure alongside the no-nonsense vigilante, Frank Castle, a.k.a. The Punisher. The comic played with the stark contrast between the light-hearted tone of Archie comics and the gritty world of The Punisher. It's often remembered as a quirky and unexpected crossover event in comic book history. Number 5. The Punisher was killed in a story arc called Frankencastle. In this storyline, which ran through issues 11 to 21 of the Punisher Volume 8 series 2009 to 2010, Frank Castle, the Punisher, is killed by Dakin, Wolverine's son. However, rather than staying dead, Castle is resurrected by the Hand, a ninja clan with mystical abilities. They bring him back to life as a patchwork creature known as Frankencastle a fusion of Frank Castle's consciousness and a monstrous body resembling Frankenstein's monster. In this form, he embarks on a quest for revenge against those who wronged him while grappling with his new identity. Number 4. The character of the Punisher drew inspiration from various sources, including Mac Bolan from the Executioner series of novels by Don Pendleton. Bolin is a vigilante character who wages a one-man war against organized crime after his family is killed by mobsters, much like the Punisher's backstory. Both characters share a similar mission of seeking justice outside the conventional legal system. I hope you're enjoying this video. Before we get to the top three, please could you take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel as it would be a great help. Number 3 in 1998 to 1999, there was a controversial four-part miniseries called The Punisher, Purgatory. In this series, Frank Castle became a literal angel of death after he committed suicide, as he was resurrected by the forces of heaven and blessed with divine powers so that he would send the forces of darkness back to hell. Clearly released at a time when the character's popularity was starting to wane. The series was intended to renew interest in The Punisher by presenting Frank Castle in a completely new and fresh scenario as opposed to the endless stories of him fighting mobsters, which Marvel felt fans had grown tired of. Needless to say, the experiment did not work, and Purgatory is often viewed as one of the weakest Punisher comics to date. Number 2. The Punisher, as a character, stands for justice meted out through extreme means often involving lethal force. However, his symbol, a white skull on a black background, has been appropriated by various groups and individuals and often associated with vigilantism or violent ideologies. This misappropriation is a source of frustration for the character, as he sees it as a perversion of his mission and principles. The Punisher has been depicted within the comics as actively opposing those who misuse his symbol, emphasizing that his actions are not to be glorified or emulated recklessly. Number 1. In the War Machine storyline, the Punisher takes on the mantle of War Machine after James Rhodes is severely injured in battle. Castle sees an opportunity to utilize the advanced weaponry and armor of War Machine in his crusade against crime. He appropriates the War Machine armor and modifies it to suit his lethal tactics, using it to mete out his own brand of justice. As War Machine, Castle becomes even more formidable, using the armor's advanced technology to take on powerful criminal organizations and superpowered villains. However, his methods and the extreme violence he employs draw the attention of other superheroes and government agencies, leading to conflicts and moral dilemmas. Thanks for watching. This video is dedicated to Steve Dillon, who was my favorite Punisher artist who sadly passed away on the 22nd of October, 2016.